Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, guess what showed up yesterday? My poker. Now I have reprofiled the edge, and this is what happens when I um, get a knife. It came out fairly sharp. Now, for people that say that cutting paper doesn't uh, tell them anything, well, maybe you should learn something about paper because I can tell how sharp a knife is by cutting a piece of paper. If it drags anywhere, if it gives me, you know, issues, doesn't leave a clean cut, then uh, it needs to be sharpened or... And what usually happens is I have a halfway decent edge on this knife, and then I go to touch it up somehow. You know, I take like a, a strop or crock sticks, you know, and I try to get it. And a lot of times I make it worse, which was what happened. And then it cut even worse than it originally was. So I said, okay, I'm just going to reprofile it. And originally I was going to go with 20 degrees, but I looked at, I put a Sharpie on it, and I saw that 20 degrees was taking it way back here. And so I switched it to 25 degrees, and I sharpened it that way. And now, I mean, it's it's super sharp. Uh, I can't do that little piece there. But, uh, yeah, so that's, that's the sharpness portion of this, you know. I got it really sharp. It is D2. I can tell that also when you uh, sharpen a knife, you can get an idea... If they're lying to you about the steel or whatever, or if it was treated improperly. And this is D2. And, man, I like this knife. It's aluminum handles. Now, I know the paint might chip and all this other stuff. They've had issues with that before. It's got a very nice little um, pivot pin here that uh, it says uh, Kalashnikov in English. And then it says it in acrylic also. Um, now, some people complain about the finger grooves. Man, my hands just fit right in there. They just fit in perfectly. And I was going to get this blade shape, which they call a drop point. Looks a lot like a spear point, but it's a drop point, I guess. Whatever they want to call it. The spring tension on this is not is not bad, you know, like pushing it closed. And the pocket clip has, you know, been criticized before. It was that waffle pattern or everything. It works fine. It's a super deep carry. I mean, it goes all the way down like that. And you can get these in a lot of different colors and a lot of different shapes. And uh, it just flies right out of there. It has no problem lying out but yeah it's just a really great knife it comes in this little box now mine was already open because i think what had happened was the package arrived like a week later so somebody got it somebody got the the knife and they went what in the hell is in here and they opened it and looked at it and went ah eh, this ain't mine and they i guess they sent it back to um, Blade HQ or something. Anyways, it it wound up finally getting back here. The the original ones were in OS eight, and the this is uh, D two. You can get another one. Blade HQ's got one in um, XHP steel, but uh, D two is all right with me. Now, because this is so f so much fun, I might get that. The Kalashnikov XL, or XXL, or whatever it's called, the, the super big one. Just because this doesn't feel too big. It's almost a little bit... I mean, it fits my hands perfectly, but it's almost a little bit small. Someone might want a little bit more room there. i got plenty of room. Yeah, it finally arrived. Like a week later. I don't know... If, if that's the, I don't think that's a model number or serial number. I don't know what they, not the serial number. Anyway, you get like a little, it's probably like a 20 round AK mag. This is not 30. 
but there you go. That's my uh, new push button knife, and it's just a little fun, fun little fidget thing. Now, yeah, you can close it one hand, but it's got pretty good. The spring pressure starts coming up here, but get your hand out of the way. You can open and close it with one hand. Yeah, if you don't have one of these, if you like, you know, if you're able to get automatic knives and stuff, um, <clears throat> you can't go wrong with one of these. Why spend, you know, hundreds of dollars just for a push button knife when you can get one for 50 bucks? And before, like I said, the complaint about them was they were in OS 8, but now you can get them in D2 and other steels. And this is fairly you know it's not real slick it gives it a little pebble texture there this it's just the same way as like this um the gonzo knife was you've got a little detent back here or a cutout and a tapered pin and when you push it once you get past there there's a coil spring in the knife and it locks it locks it up once it's open you don't get two spring until about here. But yeah, I love it. Got a little lanyard hole if you're so inclined with lanyards. And the, the knife is not touching. It may look like that, but that's a clip that you're seeing through there. Pocket clip. Just a great little knife. So, thanks for watching and have a nice day.